Hello! Welcome back to Ask Anjali. Today, we will be talking about how you can help secure your home or office from electrical fires with the help of charcoal. Tara! In the Philippines, billions of pesos worth of damage and thousands of people are either killed or seriously injured by fire every year. The sad part about this is that most of these fires are preventable. Fire spreads through four means, direct burning, setting something on fire, conduction, the igniting of combustible materials in the same way a pan on a stove gets hot, radiation, the igniting of combustible materials due to the presence of nearby heat, convection, the igniting of liquids, gases, or other chemical chain reactions. So when a fire happens in an office or a home, one of the best places for fire to spread through all four means is your piping, joint, or electrical systems, wires, plumbing, etc. Enter Charcoat. Hi, I'm Stephanie from Shieldbeard Philippines, and I'm the technical di director of um, Shieldbeard Philippines and um, I'm here today to discuss with you one of our partners' product, um, Charcoat Passive Fire Protection. One of our proud partners is Charcoat Passive Fire Protection. There are actually two types of um, fire protection here in the Philippines. So one is the active fire protection which is your sprinkler systems which needs to be activated or there should be um, automation or sensors that needs to be activated on the concept of fire. Whereas there, uh, the other side of it is passive fire protection in which it doesn't have um, activation or mechanism that will let the product do its work. So what we carry is charcoal passive fire protection. Now for the passive fire protection, what we have for the market is a range of products that can be used to stop the spread of fire. Our charcoal range has the four hour fire rating. That means it will take four hours before it runs out of its fire stopping capability. Charcoal passive fire protection has four major sealants. ES for economic sealant. IS for intermittent sealant. GS for graphite sealant. polymer sealants. ES, our economic sealant, is for the joints. IS, our intermittent sealants, are for electrical cables. GS, our graphite sealants, are for plastic pipes. And ES, for our, our polymer sealants, are for steel pipes. And that's all for today. Join us next week for another episode of Ask Anjali. How else can we help you to become a champion builder? Visit us on Facebook or email us at mchomedepotaskanjali at gmail.com. Don't forget to join us next week. See ya!